Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Blake and in this video I'm going to share with you guys a time-lapse painting. To be totally honest, when I first started this painting, I didn't really have any specific idea where I was going with it. I just, I hadn't painted it a long time. I haven't painted it in about a year and a half. And I used to paint a lot in high school when I was in art. We, I had a whole, you know, for a whole year I painted pretty much. And I've kind of missed it. I've missed just doing it on a regular basis. And it just occurred to me that, you know, I, I tell people that I'm an artist, but I don't have any like actual artwork to show that I've done recently. On a day-to-day -day basis, I do, you know, I make my handmade things from my Etsy shops, but that's pretty much it. And I feel like that's kind of sad. It's kind of like saying you're a chef and you don't cook. I really want this to be another aspect to my channel because when I started this channel, I wanted it to be somewhere that I just share all of the stuff that I do. I like to always have a different kind of project going and I like to do different projects. I like to be well versed, I guess, in different mediums. That way it's easier for me to have a solution for like a creative problem if I ever come to one. And so I fell out of practice with painting and I honestly, when I was doing some sketches for this painting, I really fell out of practice with just drawing in general because I haven't drawn anything in a while. So my big goal for the year is actually to post a video at least once a week. I would really love for Fridays to be um, for some kind of fine art. That way it forces me to do at least one kind of art piece a week, which I think is, you know, it's totally doable. But to come back to this piece, when I started, I didn't really have anywhere in mind that I wanted to go with it. I wanted it to be, um, you know, a very serene, peaceful kind of painting. And I knew I wanted to paint an animal, I just wasn't sure what kind I wanted to paint. I just wanted to paint something. And honestly, now that I look back, this is really the best thing I could have painted to get me back into painting because the background is kind of blurred out. It kind of forces me to think about atmosphere and that kind of thing. And then also, I wanted it to be focused on where the fawn is. And in the end, I tried really hard to make the mid-ground where the fawn is to have the most detail and to be like the sharpest. And then I wanted the background really blurry and I wanted the foreground to be kind of blurry too. And it took a while to get used to the fur, and I also had to change the posing of the fawn because at first it kind of looked like we were looking down on it, and I didn't really love that. So when I changed it on the second day, because the first day I went in and I blocked out the colors. The second day I went in and I started with the detail, but then I realized I wanted to be more kind of eye level with the fawn. And painting this made me practice with fur and practice with different greenery. And I also knew that I wanted to do something with a lot of green in it because the Pantone color of the year is greenery. And I just wanted to incorporate that because I really liked, honestly, I really love the color for the year. And so I just kept playing around with the fur. I started off with really tiny strokes for the fur and then I kind of got thicker strokes um, as I went on. And then in the end I had to, I thought I was done because I'd been painting this thing for like three days. And then the last day I was like, okay, I'm done, and I like hung it up on the wall. And I realized that I hadn't finished that the leg that you see in the front. It still was kind of just color blocked off. So I had to go back and finish that leg and like kind of work on the hoofs and stuff. Are they called hoofs? Deer hooves? Hooves? I'm thinking about it too hard now. <clears throat> Anyways, I went back and finished it um, after thinking I was done. I'd really love to turn this into some kind of series. This piece is simply titled Fawn, and I think I want to call the series Lullaby, although I'm not totally sure yet. But I do have a couple more ideas for more pieces in this series. Though I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll have this series be part of my weekly thing. I might just try to work on it the rest of the series on the side, that way I don't have like a huge chunk of painting videos on my channel. 
because I want my channel to still be a mix of different things. And speaking of my channel, I wanted to thank you guys so much for subscribing. Um, when I first started, it was just something kind of, you know, for fun, and it still is. It's not something that I'm, like, trying to take super serious right now. I honestly could not have asked for a better response to my videos. All you guys that have subscribed to me have been so kind, and I just want to thank you guys for that, because it really means a lot. And thank y'all again for helping me reach my goal for last year, which was to reach a thousand subscribers. Um, I've passed that almost by double by now, and it's only January. Um, I think I forgot, I need to look it up. I've got almost 1,700 subscribers, which is crazy. Like, I didn't really have any expectations when I started this, so this just makes me feel so good about the channel and like where it could go and I want you guys to be part of it I want to always have a conversation going I want um, you know I want to know what you guys think because criticism is something that helps an artist grow positive criticism you know uh, be kind if you give me any criticism you don't have to be nice I don't want nice just be kind Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Um, it really means a lot. You guys helped me reach my goal last year of 1,000 subscribers. I've almost doubled it now. I'm almost at 1,700 subscribers. If you have any suggestions or comments or questions or, you know, you just want to talk, hit me in the comments below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm people on YouTube I've been talking about the subscription notification stuff so I think it's encouraged that you hit you do the little bell setting that way your notifications are on for my channel or something I don't know but subscribe and join the handmade goodness that is going to happen this year I already have an idea for what I want to post for the next couple weeks just so that way I kind of build up a bulk of videos on my channel I might stick to my Friday videos and then share like a bonus video when I can um, because I do still have to stay on top of my Etsy shops and stuff like that I'm talking too much I will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for everything and I'll see y'all next week bye I forgot to tell you guys what I used to paint the picture. I had a ton of these like craft acrylic paints on hand so I just used mostly these different colors. The brands are Folk Art and Americana. I just kind of wanted to use what I had on hand. I did have to go to the store to get some things but for most of this painting I used just regular craft paints. I like Americana because it's because I don't have to do more than one coat when I'm doing other things. It didn't really matter as much when I'm just doing like a, a painting like this. And then I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and I got this. It's like a student grade acrylic paint. I guess the brand is Focus. Daler Ronnie. I don't know, but System 3. I got I got a whole set of these. I think it was it was like 12. 12 of these or something. Um, and then while I was at Hobby Lobby, refocus, I got this. It's the Master's Touch Fine Art Studio Acrylic, blah, 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 in titanium white. I think this is like more of a generic brand acrylic paint, but I got this because I want, I knew I wanted to just have a lot of white on hand, but turns out this is, was this really decent. The paint was really thick because originally when I was going to start this painting, I wanted there to be a lot of texture. I wanted to be, use really super thick paints, but I just didn't have enough on hand. And I wasn't about to just go buy all the colors that I needed with this when I already had the acrylic paint, the like craft acrylic. But this helped a lot. Since I wanted lighter colors, I was able to mix colors of the craft paint with this and it thickened it up to like the perfect consistency. And it was the right color that I wanted. Other than that, I did a mix of paint brushes and palette knife. I got like a, a pack of super cheap paint brushes from Hobby Lobby. I think they were regularly $9.99 and I'd used a coupon. 
I think I had, I think it came with like 15 or 20 paintbrushes. It was like, they're like super cheap because I have a really bad habit of leaving the paintbrushes in the jar. I end up ruining half of my paintbrushes anyway, so I might as well just get cheap ones to begin with, at least for now, like while I'm getting used to painting again. So yeah, I think that's it for real, for real. And then I signed the painting with, I just used one of these Jelly Roll, Sakura Jelly Roll gel pen things. It's just white and I wrote it on the painting and then I'll go back and I'll use a really fine paintbrush to go over it with paint. Cause I don't think this is like supposed to be permanent. I might just leave it as a test to see without painting over it. But I just wanted to hop in and let you guys know what it was that I used. Okay, bye for real.